to our channel. I'm in a different position today so that I can get some light from the mirror, from the window because it is <clears throat> a little bit dull. The weather has turned. But welcome back to Clark's Christmas. So this week I'm talking all about Advents and Advent calendars and the countdown to Christmas basically. I have got my angel headwear on today because I am an angel. I'm an angel all the time, but this week I have evidence of it. It's actually squeezing my brain a little bit, but <laughs> it'll be fine. It is a kid's fancy dress. It's not an adult fancy dress. So, I think the countdown to Christmas is probably more exciting than actual Christmas Day. It's like when the 1st of December hits, it's just got such a magical feel because a lot of the time most people have a chocolate advent calendars or they have some kind of countdown to christmas which i will talk obviously more about and i just think it's very widely known and recognized across the whole of the uk and much of the world that we count down from the first of december and there is so much you can incorporate into the countdown to christmas to make it exciting because christmas is just one day it is only one day of the year and basically there's a lot of stress and effort that goes into Christmas. Why not actually spread out the celebration through the whole of December to enjoy it more so? Why put all of that effort into just the one day when you can enjoy the entire month? So that is what we do every single year. So the way we count down to Christmas is we have a our favourite advent calendar or advent activity is we do the book advent. So every year I will wrap up 24 books and each night one of the kids opens one of the books. Now Grace and Reuben probably, well they are too old for a lot of the stories that we still read. So we still read a lot of um, like the Paddington book or the dinosaur that pooped Christmas and that is absolutely brilliant. Or there's an elf in my book or there's a dragon in my book those kind of books just because they're quick easy they're not really long because a bedtime story obviously needs to be <laughs> quick and simple so that you can get the kids to bed that is obviously the aim of the game is to get the kids into bed so even though they're a little bit too old for them books they still really enjoy getting under a blanket, whether it's with a drink, a hot chocolate, or a little snack, having a cuddle with their brothers or with mummy and daddy, and just having that little chill out time with the Christmas lights on and just really just making the most of the Christmas evenings, like the dark nights, all cozy together. And it is such a special moment. We read books before bed anyway, but it's just extra special with the book advent because each kid opens one, it's a bit of a surprise of what book we're going to be opening, and honestly it's one of the best things I've, I've ever done since they were little because it's something they look forward to every single year, it's just, it's magical, it really is. If you've got little ones, I mean we've been doing this for, I want to say at least seven years, so Elijah was only just born when we started doing it and as they were babies they just enjoyed the cuddle and obviously your voice speaking so it is something that you can do literally from birth is read a story every single night we certainly have and it's just more magical when you read Christmas stories every night and also we have been blessed or cursed I'm not sure which with an elf for the last, I think, five years we've had an elf. His name's Crackers. And on the 1st of December, he arrives, like all the other owls around the world. And Crackers has been brought, bringing a 1st of December hamper. And in the 1st of December hamper, he brings a chocolate advent calendar, some lovely PJs to wear, and they're always very, very festive PJs. He normally has a bowl and a cup, so they can have breakfast in a very festive bowl. <laughs> forgot what the name is for it. It's not cutlery, is it? <laughs> Tableware? Anyway, so he brings them and he also brings like an activity of some sort. So in the past we have had 
word search books like festive ones we've had act big activity books that they can do he also has brought the glasses that send the lights into different shapes like reindeers or christmas trees and that's really fun um i believe they you can get them from a garden center and we also have in there normally some kind of other advent calendar so it's like a toy advent calendar or a beauty advent calendar uh, grace has had a beauty advent calendar before these are some of our favorite ones so that really kicks off our first of december is this lovely hamper with lots of treats to have throughout december for the kids so they open it that's all of theirs then so they have a pack of biscuits normally or some sweets or things like that and then they've got their bowls and they've got their pajamas and their advent calendars to count down to and it's just making it like i say spreading out the cheer and spreading out the joy so the first of december it's just a lovely way to start off the season basically so some of our favorite advent calendars that we've had throughout the years which i will highly recommend for children has got to be lego lego is just you can't go wrong with it if you've got a kid that likes lego lego advent calendars are just amazing this year they have got a star wars one a harry potter one a lego city and a lego friends one so they've got an advent calendar to cater for all the children like that it covers most interests really then other advent calendars we've had we've had hot wheels advent calendar it wasn't very good i wouldn't recommend a hot wheels advent calendar you don't get very many cars in it you only get like one maybe two cars and then the rest is accessories like a cone or a ramp it's a bit odd really <laughs> smiggle advent calendars which is obviously stationary brilliant they're so so good they really are it comes with really interesting stationery as well uh, the one year we had a ruler that we was like oh okay it's a ruler but it wasn't just a ruler it was a stencil for different shapes it extended there was a game in it like you know the little balls that you have to get around a maze and that was all in one ruler the pens and pencils normally smell of something so they're really really good we've also um crackers also created one himself one year so he had a empty advent calendar and filled it with lots and lots of different things we had like little wind up toys squishy toys sweets different kinds of like christmasy sweets they had smelly things bath bombs so for the kids i think there is oh, so many different advent calendars now the reason I'm doing advent calendars this week so early on is because they sell out. <laughs> they sell out very, very quickly. So the Lego advent calendars, um, they do sell out quite close to probably November time. So if you was looking to get a Lego advent calendar, I would look in the next like two to three weeks really because you don't want to miss out on it. Smiggle never sells out, so don't worry about that. They have them up until Christmas Eve. But lots of the advent calendars do sell out. So if you've got a specific one in mind that you want to get, it's probably best to get it now um, because you don't want to miss out on it, especially if you've got your heart set on one. Adult advent calendars, well, they're slightly amazing now and they're getting bigger and better every single year so we have had gin advent calendars they're always fab especially if you like a gin and like to try all different flavors because you can have um a little bottle every single night of december if you want to or you can store them up i think we've still got little ad little bottles out of adam's advent calendar that he had the one year but still um jelly belly <laughs> Adam loves the Jelly Belly advent calendar because it's just loads of little packs of jelly beans. They're fab. We've also had a popcorn advent calendar. That was brilliant because we love watching films. And there was like raspberry and white chocolate popcorn. It was amazing. It was so good. And we have had... Um, I'm just trying to think what other advent calendars Adam's had. it's mainly food related to be fair because there's not really 
toys that he would buy. But as for myself, I've been very lucky in the past. I have had some amazing beauty advent calendars, YSL calendars, Lancome calendars, um, a body shop, body shop do the most amazing Christmas advent calendars. All of the products are usable. You know, you would struggle to find something that you couldn't use in a body shop advent calendar. They are brilliant and it's suitable for the whole family as well. So even if you can't get through all of the shower gels or the soaps and that, <clears throat> all of the family can use it. So the, I really, really highly recommend body shop. I think they're amazing. My most luxurious, luxurious advent calendar has got to be a lush advent calendar oh, i was so lucky to have that last year it was phenomenal it really really was it was the it had all the bath bombs in the bubble bars the lip scrubs the, the oils the body oils it was amazing it really really was so I don't know if Lush are doing one this year. I haven't seen it advertised yet. I've only seen last year's re-advertised. So whether they're just releasing that again. But with Lush, they only released 500 last year. So I was incredibly lucky that Adam managed to get me one. And that was only because my sister messaged him and said, Lush are doing an advent calendar. You need to get ready one. Um, so he managed to get that. And... I think my box was like 497 of 500, so we only literally just managed to get it, which was, again, I just felt so blessed with it. We've actually still got the box, because people are buying the boxes. <laughs> I guess they're doing it to refill, possibly, I don't know, I'm not sure, but we have actually still got the box, it was a beautiful box, I'll put a picture in. But yeah, so I think making the countdown to Christmas special is probably one of the best things you can do, because if you wait until Christmas Day to be festive, then it just is a little bit of a waste about everything that's going on within December. You know, why not take advantage of all the festive lights to enjoy a countdown? Whether it's with books, you could do a movie advent calendar. So you could pick a 24 movies that you wanted to watch and watch a movie every single night which we was going to do that but we find it a little bit difficult with clubs but i definitely would do a 12 day one at least and pick 12 films that you can all sit down and watch together and yeah just make the most of the whole of december count down together as a family treat each other at the beginning of december because this is another reason as well if you love christmas things so you can get sock advent calendars but they're all like festive socks or if you love pajamas and you want to treat someone to festive pajamas if you buy them for christmas day after christmas day you're not really celebrating christmas anymore so yes i wear christmas pajamas all year round but does it feel more festive to wear Christmas pyjamas from the 1st of December? Yes, it does. So if you're going to buy somebody something very, very festive, as in a festive mug or a festive pyjamas, a festive hat or anything like that, it's probably better to give it earlier on in December where they can wear it to the park or they can wear it to the shops or, you know, you can wear it if you're able to meet anybody in your family. Um, also obviously sitting around drinking all the different flavoured hot chocolates and stuff there is so much stuff you can do throughout December that's festive this is why I say to start it on the 1st of December and count down with all of your festive treats so like festive biscuits, festive cakes, festive drinks count down with it it is the best thing that you can do it really is so that is this week's discussion all about advents let me know what are your traditions through december what is it that you do to count down to christmas what is it that you do to make december more fun is there certain things that you do is there not is there something that you've done since you were tiny and brought it down and give it to your children to do let me know in the comments down below and other people can get ideas from it as well and just going back to last week's video which is obviously Santa experiences. I had lots of comments. <laughs> I love that people love Christmas videos because you're my kind of people. 
Um, some other suggestions were your local farms. So if you're looking for somewhere to see Santa, go to your local farms. They're absolutely amazing as well. Centre Parks was recommended by so many people. Honestly, I had so many private messages saying you've got to try Centre Parks. It's really, really good. A few people commented on the video. Centre Parks, Centre Parks, Centre Parks. So I think next year we might actually look at something like Centre Parks because I think you have to book like a year in advance because it books up really, really fast. But we're definitely going to look for Centre Parks for next year. So thank you so much for all of the interaction on the last video and thank you for watching this video as well and I would love it if you comment down below any of your traditions throughout December and yeah thank you so much and I will see you next week bye